Hey there. It's me. It's Darcy. Uh, man, what is this? 2020? I swear to God, this world's lost its fucking mind. We get all kinds of crazy shit breaking loose this year. Then COVID. People are out of work. People are stuck in their houses. Some are broke. Some don't know where the next paycheck's coming from. And some people are pissed off about having to wear masks. But all that aside. Shit broke loose in Minneapolis. The spark that was bound to occur... Because, let's face it, you know, everybody's already pissed off. All we needed was another spark, right? People have been getting killed time and again. And here he is, another black man getting murdered by the cops. And the cop just sat there on his neck and he couldn't breathe. He begged, please let me breathe. All he had to do was pick him up and put him in the back of the cop car. He wasn't resisting. What the hell is this all about? When people in Minneapolis tried to protest, they tried to protest peacefully. And what happened? They got fired upon with tear gas and marker bullets. Well, if you don't let somebody protest peacefully, they're going to protest violently. Welcome home, America. You chickens are coming home to roost. All because we haven't want to deal with that elephant in the room called racism. Because white people don't want to admit it exists. Look, Look at me. You look at me and you see white. Okay? I'm also Native American. Straight up, America has never dealt with racism. We don't even want to admit it's true. Look, it is true. White privilege is real. Trust me on this shit. I realize it every day. But if you don't use that for something greater, then what good are you? You just want to sit around and bitch and be Chad and Karen and then bitch because you have to wear a fucking mask? Get over yourselves. Shut the fuck up about the damn masks for five minutes. You know, people are getting killed out here. And while I'm on it, you know, I, I support the protests. I don't necessarily support the looting or the vandalism. But I'm not in a position to sell these folks that they're wrong. Straight up. A lot of this rioting and looting... uh there is evidence that a lot of this was started by off-duty cops and agent provocateurs. Uh, there, there's video of it. There's a live stream of it. Of course, the mainstream press is not going to show you that. But there you go. The rest of the looting, well, hey, the opportunists who don't even know who George Floyd was or anything about him are going to come in and take over. Last week, you know, maybe a couple weeks ago, we had those protests in Ohio Mostly white crowd, heavily armed, no tear gas, no National Guard. Yet these folks pretty much stormed the Capitol and were slyly threatening local, the politicians. But nobody called out National Guard. Some of them were out there shaking hands with the cops. Now with this, these folks who were unarmed tried to be peaceful and we're pretty much peaceful until the police decided to fire pro tear gas on them. Now this is, you know, you can call me a liar if you want. You can go back through the live streams. Go on Unicorn Riot. Check out the live streams, dude. You know, call me what you want. But notice, you know, the big difference between these two rallies. You know, a lot of people brought this up. Hey, we had heavily armed white people out here and nobody called out National Guard. Nobody reacted like this. Yeah, no shit. They could... They could shoot back. And number two, the rioting and everything breaks out. There were no riots when these white folks went and protested. They, they didn't, you know, vandalize or loot anything, which brings me to a point. Earlier this year, with the whole COVID thing, when they were talking about reopening, Trump and a few other GOP legislators decided to suggests that Americans should sacrifice themselves willingly on the altar of capitalism. Which, to me, that sounds like a human sacrifice to Moloch, which, or Menno, excuse me, which I believe was uh, banned biblically, but, hey, what do I know? 
all I'm saying is, you know, the point is, it's all about the money, man. You hit them in the pocketbook, that's when they want to go bug shit. And you can say, well, they need to protest peacefully. Yeah, they tried that. They kneeled. They protested peacefully. What happened, white America? You sat there and said, oh, this is useless. They need to go home. Why don't they have a job? Why don't they have something else to go do? <laughs> you don't let people protest peacefully. They're going to be violent. And what we had here was a perfect combination. We had everybody's pissed off because of COVID. Can't go to work. Out of work. No where your next paycheck's coming from. People are hungry. And they're angry. And this right here, I've been sitting here saying for months, all it was going to take was one little spark. And George Floyd was that spark. I was wondering, I'll be honest with you, I'm wondering what the hell it took so long for people to start rioting anyway. We've had George Floyd. We've had uh, other people shot for jogging in their neighborhood. And because they didn't listen to a white guy with a gun. And then they took two months to prosecute the guy? Uh-huh. Yeah, that, that stinks all to high heaven. Another young lady shot in her own home. For God's sake. And they were looking for somebody else who wasn't even there. Come on, man. Uh, wake up. You want to sit here and say, well, the system's going to handle it. The system ain't done shit. Okay, what are they going to do? They're going to put on a little show trial and pretend to go through the motions. And then when the shit hits the fan or everything dies down, they'll appeal and get somebody probation. This guy, this officer who is kneeling on George, George Floyd's neck, this is the second man he's killed. Why the fuck was he working in the police department? He, th th this guy had no business being there. And my other question to the other three officers, including the Asian officer who was standing there, what the fuck were you thinking? You know, pull the motherfucker off. You want to sit here and tell me, you know, yeah, there's good cops out here. And yeah, I believe that. I know some good cops. But I know a lot of bad ones, too. I've run across a few of them. But, you know, I mean, when it comes down to it, we got to start calling people on their bullshit. All right. I'm white and I fucking can't stand other people's racist bullshit. You fucking grow up and start acting like adults. If you ain't done nothing to me, I don't hate you. You want to personally piss me off, that's a whole different ballgame. But, you know, everybody wants to go nuts about the looting. Let's just also realize that some of these folks doing the looting... You know, some of those that work forces are the same that burn crosses. Some of those doing the looting work for the forces. Keep that in mind. Uh, we just got to start realizing, I mean, one thing that got me in all this is everybody wants to worry about the looting. Everybody wants to worry about that. And then what they said about sacrificing yourself on the altar of capitalism. You know what? When did we decide somewhere down the line that... People's lives were worth less than money. You know, all those businesses that got vandalized, you know, all the mom and pop shops, Mark goes out to you, but they can get an insurance check. All of that can be replaced. George Floyd can't be replaced. All these people can't be replaced. Money can. What it all comes down to is, God forbid you make the rich people nervous... Fuck them. I don't really give a shit what they want. Uh, basically, what you're seeing is your chickens are coming home to roost, folks. And maybe this is a little bit of a rambling rant here, but oh well. Uh, sooner or later, you're going to have to wake up. And people are starting, I hope, to do that. Uh, all I'm saying, folks, is just if you are out there protesting, please stay safe. You know. Uh, go prepared. And I'm not going to lie to you. There's a part of me that says, you know what? Screw it. Uh, if you can arm yourself peacefully, do so. 
Uh, cops ain't gonna shoot at you if you can shoot back. Maybe you want to consider that if you can legally do so. So don't just catch on your, oh, Darcy said go get a gun. No. I said legally, motherfucker. Now, I'm not saying if they, you know, if you got an area that doesn't let you open carry, then fine. Figure that shit out. But I'm just saying, armed in general? No. Just make it clear, you ain't gonna stand there and let them murder people. And for all you folks who love your guns and all about, hey, we gotta do something about tyranny, where the fuck are you? You ain't here. Here it goes. And for all those folks who are going to be out here this weekend, rumor has it, Trump's trying to call out the MAGA crowd. So that's going to be a dog whistle to every other white supremacist out here who wants to start Boogaloo. Just be safe. That's all I'm saying. These crazies are looking for a fight. My reaction is, hey, guess what, fellas? There are people on the left who have guns, too. And they will start shooting back. <laughs> Just because they don't walk around with them on their back just to go get a cup of coffee down at Starbucks doesn't mean they're not armed. I don't know, man. This is just... Welcome to America 2020. We've lost our fucking minds. <laughs>